Hi guys, Barney Boy here, and welcome to my latest video where I'm going to show you how to replace the bulb in a ceiling mounted spotlight. Like so. Please subscribe to my videos uh, and my channel, of course. Like my video. Please, 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 let's get it out there and help everyone else who may be in need of the help and support of how to do certain odd jobs around the house. So, what we're looking at today is a ceiling spotlight, and obviously when you turn your light on, the bulb doesn't come on. Now, these actually tend to appear difficult to replace, and you may be tempted to call out an electrician or a handyman to come and do the job for you, but actually, in fact, it's a very simple job and quite basic. Um, it's just understanding exactly how it's done. So I've just turned the lights on here. This has not come on. So the first thing we want to make sure is have any of the other lights come on. So in this particular room in the bathroom, this is one of four lights. The other three have come on. This one has not. So there's either the bulbs come loose from the connection, uh, the bulb needs replacing, or there could be something with particular wiring or bulb mount. But I think it's unlikely to be either of those. <clears throat> so I'm going to go on the assumption that either the bulb is gone or the mount for the bulb has come loose. So. What we want to do is, number one, always make sure you have a cup of tea. So I take mine, two sugars of milk. I'm not sure how you take yours, but that's the first thing you want to make sure. All right. Secondly, you want to make sure all the lights are turned off to the room. And if you're a bit worried, um, then obviously make sure that the fuse board is turned off as well. Now, you could also consider, if, if you're very concerned about the type of spotlight it is, or there's loads, or they're connected, or there's specialist ones, um, then it may be worthwhile actually getting an electrician to come in and look at it for you. But just be mindful that when turning stuff off at the fuse board, that you don't take the notes on the fuse board as 100% fact. Make sure you check that if it says bathroom, bedroom one, lounge, hallway, whatever, that you are confirming that that is 100% correct. Once you're satisfied that you've definitely turned off the lights or the power to the room, whatever, we can actually look at getting the mount off from the ceiling. So what you want to do in this case is actually just, there you go, so we just saw that happen. You just want to pull on the metal ring around it and pull it down and with that should come the bulb. Now you can just slide the bulb out from the spring, I'll show you in a sec. Just spring it, slide it out from the spring, it can be a bit fiddly, but once you're out, you can see how it works. And we can see that the bulb actual lamp slots into there, holds up itself, like so, and then it comes to the actual connection point, which is here. So we'll just put that to the side for a second and get the actual light off. Most commonly in bulbs, I'd say 90% of all bulbs, you just want to twist it, lefty loosey. Perfect, there we go. And we can see that is the bulb that I believe needs replacing as it did not peel loose in its mounting. Now we can see we've got the cable bit there, the actual bulb there, and the mount and glass casing here. So the bulb that we'll do is take around to the shop. I'm very quick. There you go, I've already been and I'm back again and I've got the bulb. What you want to do when you go to the hardware store, I went to B&Q, I'm in the UK, <clears throat> is actually take the old bulb with you. And the reason for that is you want to make sure that you're getting the correct connections, the correct wattage, uh, model number, whatever. And if you are worried, you can always just check with the hardware store staff, who I'm sure will be happy to help. So we can see these two bulbs, just taking the new one out of the box. They're absolutely identical. And also the model number both dial H092018. I'm assuming the year they were made. Both the exact same, 27 um, MA and then AC is all the same. And then all, all these numbers and particular codings are the exact same. So I am satisfied that these are one of the same. So you get your new bulb, here it is. You get the mounting and we can see with that we've got the two the two prongs at the end and in here you will see that you've got two big holes and it slides into two smaller ones keeping the bulb in place so if we push that into the two big ones like that give it a twist righty tighty there we go that bulb should now hang 
Now, before we put the casing on and put the mount back into the ceiling, we want to make sure that's absolutely 100% gone through and we are wired up. Perfect, there we go. So make sure that you don't keep it on for too long, you don't want it to get hot, and make sure you turn it off as well before you get near it. So I can see that was only on for a split second, it's not hot yet. And as I showed you earlier, which I'll get the old bulb and show you a bit more clearly now, that with the actual bulb itself, that mounts on there like so, and we'll just push in and stay in place like so. And that's the exact same that we want to do with that one up there, the new bulb. So I'll put that old bulb back, get the casing, get the light, put it on, slide it in, till it slots in, check it hangs. There we go, that's great. And we've got two spring loaded metal bits here that hold the actual casing into place as well. Push that up, back into the unit up there. Oh, come on, it's going a little bit there. Push that in, check it looks okay. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Turn it on. Perfect. And we're all round. All those lights are now working. I'll just show you the others as well. So there we go. Perfect. We'll come out here, turn that off. Job's done.